was 13 when I was exposed to the world of fashion magazine, particularly Harper's Bazaar. I've not looked back since and I still have lots of fashion periodicals everywhere. I'm not a fan of any particular style. It's more about the project, the brief, the client, and what's the best way forward. So I guess maybe over time, what I like, my influences, all sort of creeps in every piece of work that I produce. I always look at the past for reference, a lot of my influences, and um, I'm aware of the present very much. Kind of make sure every piece of work is ready for the future. So I guess this kind of forms the backbone of how I tackle every piece of project. If there's a word to describe it, probably timeless. Well, I'm very influenced by a few people in my life. Number one guy is Fabian Baron. He sort of made me want to do what I do today. When I was younger, I hang around with my friends. She has tons of magazines, and I remember going to his house. After homework, I would flip all the magazines. And I would look at all the beautiful typography and the design, photography, and so on and so forth. And I kind of felt that, wow, I want to be in this world. I want to be able to do this kind of thing for a living. The President Design Award has the ability to influence many, many designers in Singapore, I feel, because we all look up to this award and think it's one of the highest accolades. For me personally, I think it's very important to win this award because what I do in the beginning, I'm not so certain myself. I just sat on this path, experimented, went with it, followed my instincts with uh, no goals in mind. But the back of my head, I do hope I can be recognised by fellow Singaporeans. Like, they look up to me and say, hey, you know, you're doing good stuff and carry on, keep on doing this. Or we could collaborate, for instance. That sort of like proved to me that maybe this award is worth pursuing for a lot of people because it may open more doors and uh, hopefully I can carry on influencing more people. My advice to emerging designers would be you have to follow your heart, whatever you want to do, but be more critical about what you do because we live in a time where it's very crowded. Keep on pushing. If you don't think you're there yet, then you know, push it harder. I'm Larry Pei, Creative Director, Designer of the Year. <laughs>